Laos. Hey, what's up, everyone? On this episode of Travel with Eric, I'm going to be going over the entry requirements and visas for traveling to Laos. All right, let's get it. First off, no quarantine, no testing, and proof of vaccination is not required. Laos is back to normal. Travel insurance, it is not required, although highly recommended. I use Safety Wing. It costs me about 50 United States dollars for 28 days, and it just gives me that peace of mind. So it's not, travel insurance is not required, but it is highly recommended. As always, you need a passport that is valid for at least six months and need proof of onward travel to your next port of destination. So if you got a round trip ticket, this is a ticket back home or wherever you came from. Otherwise, you'll need a ticket out of the country, some type of ticket out of the country, like a bus ticket or another flight ticket. You can try this service if you don't want to spend all that money on an onward ticket. Um, or you could, instead of spending money on a flight that you might not be able to get a refund if you don't take, da, 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 you can try a service called Onward Ticket. Costs as low as 16 United States dollars. I don't have any affiliation with them, but they will give you a flight reservation in your email that then you can show to immigration officers um, as well as flight attendants or whoever, whoever asks for proof of onward travel. Now for visas. All right. Tour vi tourist visas on arrival are available at certain ports of entry, such as Vientiane's Wate International Airport. Vientiane's is Laos's capital. So if you arrive at the capital, you can get a tourist visa on arrival there. And so this is a 30-day single entry visa on arrival. It can be extended twice for an additional 60 days. So 30 days each extension. And that's through the Department of immigration in Vientiane, the capital, as I mentioned. Instead of having to wait at the airport for your visa on arrival to be processed, you can apply for an e-visa beforehand. So the e-visa is valid for 60 days from the date of issuance, and its holders may stay up for, up for 30 days in Laos. So what I mean by is valid for up to 60 days. So after you apply for this uh, e-visa, you can then use it within the next two months. It has to be used within the next two months. But just like the visa on arrival, the e-visa can be extended twice while you're in the country. For example, going to the Department of Immigration in Vientiane, Laos's capital. So for both visas, you might need to provide proof of accommodation and proof, of, proof that you have sufficient funds to cover the duration of your stay in Laos. So it's always good to have a bank statement, a digital bank statement on your phone or a printed one, just so you can show it. And then for the passports or for the visas you will need two recent passport size pictures um, which are for southeast asia they tend to be four centimeters by six centimeters so these are super if you're in southeast asia already these are super cheap to just buy and you know if you're in vietnam in thailand what have you beforehand or you can stand up near a, a wall take a picture. If it's a white wall, that's perfect. Otherwise, you can use a background remover tool online. But hopefully that helped you out. If you could like this channel, if you could like this video and subscribe to my channel, I greatly appreciate it.